into today's video, I wanted to mention that today, I wanted to mention that I am collaborating with my sweet friend Taylor Terrell on the channel Garrett and Tay. Um, she has the cutest channel. I have been following her for quite a while. She found me when I was just a little teeny tiny YouTuber. I don't even know if I had like a thousand subscribers. <laughs> I think I was like, mm, probably in like the first few months of me starting my channel. I connected with her and she's just the sweetest human being. And she is like, her laugh is contagious, her smile is contagious. And if you like my entrepreneurial videos and my motivational videos, then you will absolutely love her and her style. You guys is so cute. She just bought a house with her husband and they're doing an Airbnb and her style. Oh, I love it. I'm so obsessed. She has the cutest wallpaper tutorial video and I'm thoroughly obsessed. But yes, like I said, Garrett and Tay just opened an Airbnb. And if you guys are traveling for the holidays this year over in the Seattle area, I'll have her Airbnb link down below and all of her socials. So once again, Thank you so much, Taylor, for collaborating with me on this video. In December, I have decided to collaborate with a few different women to empower you guys and to motivate you guys and to share with you some other women that I really look up to. And Taylor is definitely one of them. She has been with me since I was just a really tiny little YouTuber. I'm still not like a huge YouTuber. I've grown quite a bit, but I just, there's something about Taylor that is so sweet. Like I said, her smile is contagious. Her laugh is contagious. And I love following her. I wish I lived closer to her so we could be real life best friends because she is the best. So please go and check out Taylor's Airbnb information and her channel and her Instagram and tell her that I sent you. So let's hop into the holiday traditions that me and my family do during this time of year. Okay, so I mentioned in my other video that <clears throat> um, we had went to Frozen 2. So one of the things that we like to do during the holidays is we like to go to the movies and what we'll do is we'll, whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas, we usually dress up in our Christmas jammies and we'll bring like a blanket or a pillow along with us and we will go watch a movie all together in our Christmas jammies or just in our jammies. Um, like I said, this year we went to Frozen 2 Thanksgiving night it was so cute, you guys. I highly recommend it. I thought the storyline was super adorable and like tied into the first one. Hashtag mom life. <laughs> Relating myself to Elsa. Okay, so anyways, um, that is one of my most favorite traditions that we do. We're not super traditional. We just do things, I guess, like activities. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but... Anyway, something else that we do a lot during the holiday season is when I am together with my family, um, we like to play games, whether that be card games or video games. Um, another thing that we like to do, like Thanksgiving night or Christmas night, Christmas Eve, is to bundle all up on our sectional and play video games. We've been doing that. I've been staying at my parents' house. That's where I am right now. I've been staying at my parents' house for the past few days. And at night, that's what we do. We all cuddle in and we've been playing Luigi's Mansion. Hot Nud Mansion 2, 3 something. I don't know. Anyways, we've been playing video games and it's been a lot of fun. Another idea for you guys and something that we have just recently started to do is to find like holiday activities. So today we're heading out to a holiday market, the Chris Kindle Market in Minneapolis. Actually, I think it's in Excelsior um, in Minnesota and it has like kid activities, it has like reindeer and like Santa Claus, um, but then it has like a bunch of like brewery shops and things like that and just like cute Christmas shops. Lots of really fun stuff. So that's another um, holiday activity or tradition that we like to do is just go out, find some fun things to do together as a family, such as the market. So I will be taking a little bit of a vlog clip from that market. So I'm gonna include it here for you guys.
next on my list for holiday traditions is um, setting out like snacks. I don't know about you guys, but we have like snack nights a lot during the holidays. So instead of like doing really big meals every single night or for every single um, like lunch and dinner, what we like to do is set out like snack trays. Um, one of the things that I remember most from my childhood is having like jalapeno poppers and like fried mushrooms, like the or like the breaded mushrooms and um, having wings, things like that. Sorry. Aspen's down here asking for attention. Um, just having like appetizer type of um, meal nights and those are really fun as well. Um, another thing that we like to do during um, the holidays is I mentioned Christmas jammies. So for Christmas Eve every single year or maybe even the night before that we'll open up our Christmas jammies that we're going to have for the year or that we're all going to match and whatever it be super cute and nerdy um that is something else that we do um trying to think of other things that we do for like holiday traditions um i don't know we just we all hang out we love to like i said we all like to like cuddle in on the sectional and just like hang out together watch movies play card games video games where whatever it may be that is definitely what our holidays are centered around is just all hanging out together being underneath the same roof it's really rare that we all get together underneath the same roof. Um, I mentioned in my last video, but I have four siblings, so there's five of us. I have a brother and three sisters, the youngest of which is eight years old, and I am the oldest, and I am 27 years old. So there is quite a span between all of us, and then of course the older siblings, we all are married or we have significant others, so then our family is growing even more so. So getting us all underneath the same roof is a rare occasion. So when it happens, we just like to all cuddle in, hang out, and really enjoy that time like we used to when we were kids. So this year we're starting a new Christmas tradition with my um, mom's side of the family. Um, my grandma rented out a resort for us to all go to. So when I was younger, um, it was tradition for us to go to my grandma's house. And we would stay there for like four or five days with all of my aunts and uncles and cousins in my grandma's house. And it was chaotic and it was wonderful and I loved it so much. And I miss holidays like that. It's starting to get to be like that at my house just with all of the extended, like I said, Aspen, all of the significant others and now my kids and soon enough my siblings will start to have kids of their own as well so it's starting to feel kind of like that underneath my parents roof but I'm really excited because it's been quite a while since we've like spent Christmas with my mom's side of the family and that's what I grew up doing every year for like 24 years that's what we did so now this year um, we're going to a resort and it is a giant reunion cabin and I will bring you guys along with me for vlogmas. I'll kind of show you what the cabin looks like. It's actually an ice fishing resort. If you're not familiar with Minnesota activities, um, we're crazy human beings and we go ice fishing. So this is an ice fishing resort. No, we're not ice fishing while we're there um, celebrating Christmas next weekend, but um, it is an ice fishing resort. But that'll be super fun. Um, again, there'll be like lots of drinks and there'll be lots of card games and just like a lot of BSing. And that is my absolute favorite part of Christmas is like, or just like the holidays in general is like when you get together with your family and you like laugh until you almost pee your pants. Best part, hands down. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just been like so different the past few years and it's hard. I know traditions change as you get older, but it's so hard when... I don't know, it's not hard, but it's different. Like Christmas is so different than it was even five years ago for me. Like I said, we used to go to my grandma's house. We'd all stay in the same roof. Now that I'm married, my brother's married, um, and you know, we, I have kids. It's just it's so much. So, <laughs> so anyways, getting used to a new normal can be hard. Um, I know the holidays are a really hard time of year for those who maybe have never had traditions or maybe have lost a parent or a significant other or whatever it may be. Look at these wonderful dogs and everybody. There is a lot of dogs under this roof right now. Wow, guys. Hi. So getting used to a new normal can be difficult. Um, but my advice to all of you for Christmas traditions is just to Re 
is just start your own traditions. Um, that's kind of what we've been doing in the past five years is coming up with new traditions and figuring out, you know, now that we have our own kids, what does that look like in our life? You know, do we go to all of these Christmases? Do we stay in one spot and celebrate Christmas with ourselves? What do we do? And balancing between Mike's family and my family, we try to make it as fair as possible and switch off. Um, like I said, all new normal. So we're just kind of figuring it out between all of the old traditions and the new traditions. So, all right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for my holiday traditions video. I hope that I gave you some ideas for some, maybe some new holiday traditions or maybe from starting out from scratch and you know, you don't really have any traditions. Um, maybe this sparked a little bit of interest um, in some of the activities that we do. It's a lot of cuddling, it's a lot of video games, it's a lot of card games, it's a lot of <laughs> drinks and snacks, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's amazing, and it's a hot mess. You guys know me. Hey, my family's just the same. Where do you think I got it from? My sarcasm and my hot messness. It's genetic, trust me. Okay, guys, well, I am going to scoot. We are getting ready to head out the door for... You ready? You ready, Spin? Getting ready to head out the door to go to the Chris Kindle Market. All right, so I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go have some fun. Again, thank you so much to Taylor for collaborating with me on this video. I hope that you guys find some inspiration and motivation in her channel and on her Instagram. Seriously, just the best human. And don't forget, guys, it's Vlogmas. Hello, are you ready? Don't forget, you guys, it is Vlogmas, so we are vlogging every single day on my channel. Whatever activities that we're doing, we're bringing you along with us. Hello, this is this is my sister, Kenna. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna scoot. I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. Okay, bye guys.